as for the delay uh, in in starting. All right, so let me welcome all of you, and I'm going to read from a statement at which point we can deal with any questions that may flow from that. So. <clears throat> Thank you for joining this us this afternoon for what uh, is an important development with the coronavirus disease 2019 or COVID-19 as, as it is referred to. Uh, Jamaica today confirmed its first imported case of coronavirus disease 2019, COVID-2019 here in Kingston. The patient is a Jamaican female who had traveled from the United Kingdom, which, as you know, has, a case, has cases of COVID-19. She arrived in the island on March 4th, presented to the public health system on March 9th, and has been in isolation since then. Based on the patient's travel history and symptoms, Health professionals suspected COVID-19 when she presented herself. A clinical sample was collected and sent to the National Influenza Center, where lab tests confirmed the diagnosis today at approximately 11 a.m. The patient and family members have been informed of the development. The patient's infection was travel-related based on the assessment. However, steps are being taken to prevent the risk of community spread. These measures include the dispatch of a health team to the home of the patient for assessment and initiation of public health measures, the identification and contact tracing for all possible exposed persons, meeting of ministry officials with members of staff at the hospital and the necessary interventions that are required to be put in place, in addition, in addition, imposed travel restrictions uh, remain in place. In fact, three countries have been added to the list of the five that were originally announced. China, Italy, South Korea, Singapore, and Iran are the original countries that was previously made public. We have added to that Spain, France, and Germany. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Foreign Trade and I met this morning with the ambassadors of those countries as well as the EU ambassadors.